guys. Welcome, 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 and welcome back to the Power BI Pro Tips by Tejas. So, in the today's video, let us go ahead and build a customized slicer panel for our Power BI report. So, let us go ahead and open our Power BI report. So, in this report, let us see what we have got in our data set. So, we basically have the financial data for various location with respect to various segments. And we also have various products with respect to various locations, the discount brand, unit sold, manufacturing price, sales price, gross sales, and so on. In addition to that, we also have a standard date table. So let us go ahead to the report view and build a slicer panel first. So the first step is to open a new tab and make sure that we are building a Slice of panel. Over here, first thing is we see that our report is basically sky blue in color, right? So we need to build a slicer panel which is a bit contrast and relative as well. So let's go ahead and do the same. So let us go to insert and take some shape over there that will look like our menu bar. So this will be somewhat similar to a menu bar. So that and it will be towards our left corner. So let us make it even more darker. Okay. So let us go to style. Color. I think we can make it a bit darker. So let, let us take somewhat like similar to this color. Yeah, that's fine. That should do our job. Okay. So having done that. Let us take multiple slices inside the shape. So let us go to financial. Let us take a country slicer first as a drop down slicer. So once we have the country, let us convert it into slicer. Having done that, let us convert this slicer as a drop down. So slicer settings under here style, go to drop down and format this. So let us go to general and dial fix. Let us take a relative blue color. And let us see how does it look on this. So now let us format this as attractive as possible and make it as intuitive as possible. Let us go to format and change the slicer setting, go to slicer header and let us make sure that this is CHSMB board. Let us increase the text size to 14 and let us make it bold. Let us change the font color to white and let us go to values. In the selection, go to values over here and change the background of the values to white and let us change the font color to dark blue. right so what we'll do is like we'll just take the multiple copies of this top down slicer and also take various categories in them i mean this just make a copy of this and take a replica of this now let us change this to the segment slicer where is the segment okay there you go similarly we'll also take a product slicer Let's take this con band first and then we'll take product. So take a copy of this. 
it is now in the product slicer and the slash will take the year slicer now it may show that all the drop down slices are properly aligned tidy and now let us take an icon called as back over here the customized icon so i'll be taking an image since i already have it have one back collapse over here let me open let us make this as tiny as possible as possible and let us enter whether the button is formatted as well style the scaling should be fit so let us take this back button over the slicer panel now the most important step is to open the selection tab and select all the components in the shape i mean select all the slices and in image select all the components control shift you can select all and this is a very important step so please pay play, pay attention just make sure that you have selected all and perform right click and make sure that you are grouping them so the advantage is grouping is that you know it will treat all the elements as a single component so that will not actually mess up when we take this panel to the main page okay so now let us go ahead and copy these elements and take them to our main page that is summary insights let us paste it over here and now we shall also take our background as well once we align it properly there you go yeah so thereby now i have got it towards the left and now let us go and get a background go to the slice panel so the background would be a shape let's copy that and paste it separately so that we have it properly now let us take the shape let us go to the summary insights and let us paste it over here let us get this shape towards the left just like a margin and click on this rectangular shape and then go to format and under format just click on send backward option and now click on send to back now we have the slices just above the shape let us tidy this up a bit let's make sure that we have got some space now let us take another customized button and place it over here let us take the filter button i have it over here and let us place it in find a suitable position and then let us place it over here and here comes are another main step let us go to bookmarks and then create this tab as slicer panel open let us rename the bookmark as slicer 
slicer panel open so over here i just want to make sure that the visual display has to be proper and i don't want i don't want to make any changes on the selection on to the report so that's the reason i would disable the data and then update this bookmark as slicer panel open so i don't want to make any changes with respect to the selection of the filter context because if we do that that change would be updated to the bookmark and whenever we open by default that selection will be applied so i just want the visual display which is proper so that's the reason we are disabling the data over here and then updating so just take this as a thumb rule so no need to think much just disable the data and then update the bookmark as slice slice of panel open now let us create another bookmark as slice of panel slice of panel closed now our own motive is to show that all these elements are now hidden let us go to selection let us click on this let us shape in this group is group 1 yeah that's right it's group 1 okay Extend the title again, and even the visuals. Let us make it a bit proper. These are all the additional enhancements, so you can do it as per your convenience. Okay, there you go. So we need to have this button, which is a bit important. So let us update this as let the panel closed. go let us click on this and then update this book let us see let us go to slicer panel open now make sure that the elements are not hidden and update this slicer panel open again there you go let us go here and slicer panel closed we don't have a panel if we go to slicer panel open we have a slicer panel okay now let us enable this by the use of buttons let us click over here so if we click on the filter we need to get this slicer panel all right so we need to update that and the slicer panel closed bookmark so let us go to slicer panel closed and click on this button and enable the action now select bookmark over here and let us direct this to slicer panel open that's it and now let us update the bookmark of slicer panel closed the very next moment now let us go to slicer panel open and over here we have back button you see this will act like a collapse window so if you click on this the panel has to close so let us go to slicer panel open and enable the action and select bookmark over here and make sure that we are directing it to slicer panel closed and update this slicer panel open right away you know we are done with the steps now let us go ahead and check if we click on the back button we get the report which is not having any slicer panel if we click on the filter option we get this slicer panel ah. back this goes back again now that's it guys so that's what we have got today in this way you can customize beautify and modify a slicer panel in a power bi report and make it as intuitive and attractive as possible so that's it for today guys make sure that you subscribe so that we do not miss out in our future upcoming videos till then happy analyzing and take care guys yeah